blessing to be there. Shalom, shalom. Um, I just want to share this with everyone who has an ear to hear. Uh, about 14 days ago, seven days ago, I don't know maybe, I went on a 14-day fast, a water fast. Uh, I implemented some fresh juice. I felt like it was probably like a week into it. I did fresh juice. I have a juicer. I juice me some juice, grapes, blueberries, like something to flush me out. Uh, I felt as if I was a Holy, Holy Spirit telling me to do that. So I did that. So I said that I was going to fast for however long I needed to fast until I heard the Holy Spirit tell me to stop. 14 days later, I decided, I feel like out of my own self, decided to change my fast. I said, you know what? I've done 14 days. This is amazing. I feel great. I wasn't hungry. I wasn't having headaches. I wasn't having withdrawal. None of that. I just decided to change and go to raw. I wanted to eat raw. And the first day I decided, you know what, I'm going to eat a piece of fruit to break my fast. And it was a little piece of fruit, like from like, maybe like a, like fruit cocktail or something my husband brought home. And it was cold and I was like, oh my goodness, let me go to this piece of fruit. It's a little pe pear. And I took a little bite of it and I took another one and I chewed it and I swallowed it and I was like, okay. So I took another bite of it. So I ended up having like a cup of it and I ate that cup of fruit and I felt it just hitting my stomach. Clomp, clomp, clomp. But I was like, okay, this is this is good. I'm fine. The next day I go um, to Jason Fell and I fell to go to the salad bar and I get a salad. Fat salad. Like I'm just gonna get a big fat salad. I'm gonna eat this salad. So I came home with the salad and I ate on it. I put it in the refrigerator, ate some chew real slow because I'm skeptical and leery like I don't want to do too much too quick and I lock my bowels up or something so I'm being very careful on how I eat and very particular on what I'm eating of course so I ate the salad and my husband wanted pizza so and this is the second day I, I believe after I broke my fast and he wanted pizza so I ordered him pizza we eat, I, he, it comes and it smells so good like I'm talking about I've been cooking for my husband the whole time I was fasting I was not tempted in any type of form or fashion I didn't even taste his food I just cooked it and then prayed over it I hope this is good is it good I'm watching him eat like and I had no desire for it so when this pizza came I was like mmm pizza like that's like my time pizza so he had this pizza I started nibbling on it and I ended up nibbling the whole slice of pizza and then when I said I was so full my stomach was so full and I was like man I shouldn't have done that but the next day I, I believe I ate some french fries like I love french fries too I don't eat meat so I just eat bad good food you know like I, I don't eat meat but I still eat bad food sometimes so I'm eating this, uh, I'm eating, no, the next day actually, no, I did I ate some french fries, I went to the store specifically to get some french fries and eat some french fries, so it was just one bad thing after another, I'm like, okay, well I'm back, you know, I ate some carrot cake, one of my friends had our birthday, and she's like, yeah, you want some of this cake, so I'm talking about, I'm just eating, 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 like, all the weight that I lost, gained it back, which wasn't, I wasn't about losing the weight. I didn't gain all of it back. Like, I still got some off of me. But it wasn't about losing the weight. It wasn't about none of that when I went into this fast. It was about literally communing with the Heavenly Father, with my Heavenly Father. And He showed me, I'm talking about the Holy Spirit one day, a few days ago, kind of talking to me in my sleep. And He told me, the same way that you started eating back the food after your fast is how 
freaking is to get back into sin. And I woke up and I said, oh my gosh, like it hit me like a ton of bricks. It was so heavy. And he showed me that again today. He said, as quick as it was for you to start nibbling and tasting your food and then go to eating full-fledged food is as quick as it is to get back into sin. And I said, and to myself, I'm thinking like, is it me? Like, Father, what, what are you trying to tell me? I'm in sin. What is happening? But it's been pressed on me just to share this to help someone because it, it has helped me. Um, when you're in this space with, with our Heavenly Father, especially in the space of fasting and literally praying and pouring and getting poured into and just hearing and listening, it is a place of bliss. It's not, it's not some no fantasy land. It's not fake. It's not made up. Um, people say that they've gone on fast and they, they feel euphoria and, be, and you know, the, the world's going to tell you, oh, it's just because your body's doing. No, I know. Okay. For a fact. And the reason why I feel at this moment, the Holy Spirit keeps showing me as quick as it was to stop to change, to turn. That's how quick as it is as it is for us as humans, believers, here on this earth. You have to be careful. We can empty out the things that, you know, the things that are not of God. But what like in the word where it says that they cast out the demons, you are clean from demons, but the demons will leave and then they come back. To see if your house is clean. What does that tell you? It says don't just clean your house. Fill it. And when I say fill it, fill it with the Holy Spirit. Fill it with the word. The Ruach Kadesh of God. The word. you, the, the living word of our Heavenly Father. That's what we need to fill our temple with. I, I've always told myself, like, when I was in the streets, I was in the streets. When I was in the world, I was in the world. I'm talking about ten toes down. But I know that my father still had me. When I say he snatched me out the, out the club, he snatched me out the club. He said no more. And I honestly, truthfully believe that if I ever try to play around the way that I did back in the day if I decide to go to the strip club be a stripper oh I lose some weight I'm gonna go be a stripper if I ever do that I I know I will die in the club I know that if I ever go back in time and start popping me some pills and smoking me some good weed I will I will lose my mind and that's just something that I'm not willing to risk ever because the, the relationship, the things that, that my Heavenly Father has given to me is so much more. It's so much more than I can even ask, think, or imagine. Like that Jeremiah 29, 11, that resonates with me because what God has given me is so much more than I can ever ask, think, or imagine. But I'm saying all this to say is don't go back. Don't, don't, don't. Don't be on the fence. Be hot or cold. He said, if you look where I'll spew you out of my mouth. Don't be on the fence. This is not the time to be on the fence. Either you for it or you against it. And um, either way, you, you better pick a side. Because if you don't pick a side, the side will get chosen for you. So, take time with your father, your heavenly father, and see what he wants you to do just just if you're seeing this take a three-day fast just just three days and see what he wants you to do i hope this bless somebody just just see old taste and see that the lord is good and his mercy endures forever you all be blessed and I just can't wait to hear the good news.